you are into DeFi, this project will cut your attention. At the core of Clone Protocol is a big, big idea to make a trading place that's open to everyone, no matter where they are or how much money they have. They've created TL assets or classets, which are like special version of assets traded on the Solana blockchain. These unique assets are meant to break barriers and give people new chances to trade. How to get started? You need a Solana wallet. You can choose one of these wallets, but I preferably use Phantom and then connect your wallet. Then we need to fund our account. Just click this Debnet faucet and paste your Solana address and then click this Debnet. Okay. When you're done, click this Debnet USD. We need to have this one. Then click confirm. And now we are ready to dive deep with clone protocol. So clone protocol is comprised of two interconnected web applications namely clone markets where trading of cloned assets takes place and clone liquidity where offering of opportunities to engage with innovative comment liquidity system so in clone markets we can trade across all assets that they have here and to start trading we can either select a pool or navigate to the trade tab on the top of the screen so at any time we can change our asset using the drop down menu on this side like what we want to receive so for example we want to receive sol cl sol so let's just click cl sol and right now this is the 24 hour volume this is the 24 hour chart for solana so input the amount of the dev usd which is the token that we have before clicking swap you can check the details the price impact minimum received with the slippage tolerance and the trade fees you can see it's very transparent here then click swap confirm in wallet so we just need to wait for the transactions to commence and our transaction is complete after refreshing, we can now see that our balance is here and on the portfolio tab, we can easily manage our positions on clone market with the portfolio tab. And when it comes to liquidity, let's connect our wallet. So we need to open an account. This will have a 0.07 DevNet Soul fee. If you want to provide liquidity, this is needed. But this is only one time. On the dashboard, we can see the total liquidity and the total volume and at the bottom we can see the pools of assets that we can provide liquidity for with their price 24 hour change liquidity volume and the apy the next thing that we'll do is to provide collateral so let's just click comment next thing that we'll do is deposit collateral and click this clone dev net we can deposit maybe 80 once done we will see that our health score is 100 because we don't have any liquidity but once we have the liquidity the health score will also change so let's provide liquidity click this add new liquidity position so we can see our comment status here and the next is to select the asset that we want to provide liquidity so i'm gonna be choosing sol and the liquidity amount so notice that when you change the slider your projected health score is also changing so it's best to have it here maybe 70 percent to avoid liquidation or if you are a risk taker maybe for this tutorial let's head on to 40 percent click open new comment liquidity position and we need to pay for gas fees and we successfully opened our position and take note we can edit our current liquidity positions by clicking on them we can adjust this one let's head on to borrow so just click this add new borrow position and choose the asset that you want to borrow for example i want to borrow if so select the collateral amount we have five for example five dev usd this is collateral ratio so the collateral ratios should be more than 200 percent to be safer this is to avoid liquidation this is until 200 to 400 percent once you're happy with your collateral ratio click borrow and this is this will be the borrow amount so we borrowed clone if and that's it 
By the way, they have this community events like the Meme Fest Friday that will kick off soon. Don't forget to join their Discord and follow them on Twitter as well. Now that you understand what Clone Protocol is, its features and functions, are you ready to give this innovative protocol a try?